Welcome to the channel, everyone. If you are new, my name is Sherry. This is Simply Home with Sherry, and I am on a journey to make up for my entire home, starting with a budget of $264, and gradually adding to that budget by finding items in the thrift store to flip for a profit. And today, we're tackling tile. This is heavy. Will you do it? Which one do you think? Slate gray or settle gray? I'm not sure. We picked up this beautiful luxury vinyl tile in the color Oyster Travertine. But before we start laying tile, I do have to clean the floor to make sure it is free of any dirt or debris. First, I'm going to create a border with the tile. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these in half horizontally. We have all the pieces cut for the border, so we are going to lay those down first. You don't have to take this extra step, but I'm applying some adhesive to the back of the peel and stick tiles. There's enough adhesive on the peel and stick itself, but since the foyer is a high traffic area, I want to be sure everything stays on the floor and not moving, so I'm taking this extra step. We've also decided instead of doing all of the border first, we're gonna do everything in sections. So we're gonna start at the very beginning of the foyer, work our way down to the door, adding the border and the rest of the tiles at the same time. All right, we started laying out the pattern. This is how we are going to do it. As you can see, we are starting on the border and we have all of our spacers in here. So now we're just gonna lay the rest of them out and then we're gonna start sticking them to the floor. Whenever we come to the end of a row, what we do is we put it down, measure it up against the spacers, and then the edge we cut off, that part will start the next row.
One thing to pay attention to when you're putting the tiles on the floor is to pull from different boxes as you're applying the tile. It may be hard to see, but some of these look almost alike. So we ended up putting them side by side. It would look better if we would have buried the colors in the tile. As you can see, we pulled these out of the same box. What we're gonna do is pull out of a second box so not all the tiles look exactly alike as we put them side by side. It's been about seven hours and we are 90% of the way complete. We're gonna call it a day. And tomorrow we're gonna to finish it up and start on the brow work. After a good night's sleep and a couple of cups of coffee, we're ready to finish laying the tile and start on the brow work. The last piece of tile is now down. We're getting ready and start the grout work. But first we're going to vacuum and sweep the floor. We're getting ready to start on the grout work. I chose the color saddle gray as our grout. I also have a grout float and a grout sponge. This sponge has two sides on it. One of them you buff with to get the haze off and then you come back with the other side of the sponge to take off the excess grout off the tiles. And I have a bucket of water to keep our sponge clean. So I think we're ready to grout. It's been a couple of days. We had to take a couple of days off because we were very, very sore. We got about a quarter of the way done. Then I realized I was going to need more grout to finish it. So I bought another container of grout. And so today we are determined to finish all of the grout. The tile is now complete and I have to say I am loving the look. The luxury vinyl tile, you guys, it looks amazing. I would highly, highly recommend it. Everything I used in this project, I will link in the description box. And now we can add up the receipts. And I'm shaking because you remember when, when we did the paint, I was over budget. So let's start from the beginning for all of you who are new to the channel. I started off with a budget of $264 cash that I was going to start all the projects off with. And I gradually add to that just by finding items to flip or flip items in my home for cash so I can make over my home debt free. So we started with $264, 55 of that was used for the paint, which brought it down to $209 we had in cash. I sold some items at the thrift store and I was able to pull out $97 from our net profit to go with the cash on hand, which brought it up to $306 that we had available to buy the tile. Now I only budgeted $300 for the tile. so. Went to Lowe's, picked everything out, got to the register, and it was $300.22, which doesn't sound bad at all. And then we started grouting and realized I was going to need another tub of grout. It, isn't that the way it always is? Anytime you budget one thing, it's, it's, it's never that. So we took a day off because our legs and backs were hurting. They were aching. My son is younger than I am. Well, obviously he's younger than I am, but duh. Um, he's younger than I am and he was so sore, bless his heart. He was so sore, but 
I'll give you some tips and tricks on how to not be sore when you do this after we get through with the budget. But I was able to take some tiles back that we did not have to use. So I was able to get $13.70, no, $13.78, every penny counts people, $13.78 back from the tiles. Mm hmm sounds good and then I only had to spend twelve dollars and twenty five cents on the grout which means our total then was only two hundred and ninety eight dollars and sixty nine cents that we spent on everything we needed for the tile so we came in under budget by one dollar and thirty one cents which makes our available cash on hand now seven dollars and thirty one cents we'll just use even numbers and call it seven dollars so we have seven dollars cash can't really do much with seven dollars yeah i know as i was editing the video i forgot to put in my tips and tricks on how to save your knees legs and back as you're doing tile the first thing i would recommend is getting knee pads we didn't have any which we would have we will have them for the next project and the second is to work as a team my son was cutting the tile he would hand it to me i would put the adhesive on and then he would come back over and lay the tile it would have been easier on my son's legs if he would have just been cutting the tiles, hand them to me, I put the adhesive on and I lay the tile, but he was coming back over and laying the tile. So work as a team, the person who's standing up, let them stand up. The person sitting on the floor, let them sit on the floor so you don't wear your back, knees, and your legs out. So tip number one, knee pads. Tip number two, work as a team. And I want to do my closet next. I am leaving the doors off. I want to make it like a little, well, not really a focal point because the door is the focal point, but I want to do something a little different. So I'm going to be putting wallpaper in there. I do have some shelves. I'm going to do something with those. It's, it's going to look good, y'all. It's going to look good. But we need more money, which means, and I heard you guys on my last Thrift Me video, you want longer Thrift Me videos and your girl is going to come through for you. I, what do you think maybe 20 minutes is that too much we'll go for 20 minutes it's going to be a 20 minute thrift with me coming out this friday it's going to be so much fun i'm also going to be looking around my home to find items to sell on facebook offer up the neighborhood app whatever that is any way i can sell this stuff because they're bigger items and i don't want to put them on ebay i want the cash now like now you know mama needs the cash now i want the cash now because i don't want this for your makeover to take months i want to get this done in the next three weeks guys so mama needs the money and i'm going to show you guys how i stage furniture how i stage bigger items to take pictures of so they will sell very quickly on facebook marketplace and all those other little sites online because did i, did I mention Ma, mama needs the money guys thank you so much i appreciate all of your support with these videos that i have been doing i want to grow this community even larger so every time you comment every time you like the video every time you share the video it means so much to me it really just triggers that youtube algorithm it kind of it kind of taps the youtube algorithm on the shoulder and say hey that, that girl's videos are good let's push them out so other people can watch them but thank you so much for all your support. If you are new and you just haven't pulled the trigger and hit that subscribe button, because I look at my analytics. There's a lot of you that watch my videos that are not subscribed. So what are you waiting for? You get, you get all this. Just, just yeah, hit the red button. It's free. You won't regret it. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you at the next one. Bye, loves.